Hey everyone, back again with a real quick tutorial for using IntelliJ today. And today I just want to talk about organizing imports. And so what I'm going to do is just paste in a bunch of code and let's go from there. So I have this course.java and I have some code that somebody gave me and I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in. So when we do so, we have a bunch of red going on here. And what this tells me is that whatever we have paste it in here we uh, the Java class file has no idea where to find those classes at there's no class definition for say big decimal so we would need to go ahead and import those and we could do those one by one or we can come up to code and say well hey I wanna I probably looked at this and I said oh I want to optimize imports uh, okay let's go ahead and do that so I'm gonna optimize imports and it's gonna say unused imports not found and that's really what optimizing imports is meant to do is look at all your import statements and go, well, you're not really using that one, so let's get rid of it. So let's go ahead and say import java.util.date. So now if we look at that, you can see that it's kind of grayed out, which means it's unused. We're not using that. So if we look at that again and go code optimize imports, it will get rid of that import statement that we're not using. So now back to the question at hand. So now I wanna go ahead and import this. I don't wanna do this one by one, but I could. If I came in here, I can hit option uh, return, and then it's basically gonna say, all right, what do you wanna do with entity? Well, I can either create an annotation, add a Maven dependency, or I actually wanna import that class. So I'm gonna import, and it actually shows me that there's two different types of entity classes that I can import. Um, this just happens to be the one I want to import at this time, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. So now it's added that import, and entity is in there. It's no longer red, and we're good to go on that one. So again, we can start doing this one by one. I'm going to say option enter. In this case, we have nothing that we can import, but I do know that at data comes from Project Lombok because I'm a big fan of that project. So what I could say is I can go add Maven dependency. And what I want to look for is Project Lombok, and I'll go ahead and hit that. And now that that's imported, as long as you have the automatic imports on uh, Maven coming in, that should go ahead and work. So now I can go ahead and import that class, and we are good to go. This is all good and dandy, and this is going to work, but this doesn't seem like a lot of fun to me. So uh, let's go ahead and back up, back up. Let's just get rid of these imports. So now what I'm going to do is go up to IntelliJ Preferences. And if you look under Editor, General, and Auto Import, there's a couple options underneath Java, uh, one of which is Add Unambiguous Imports on the Fly. And what this is basically saying is if you don't come across a conflict, just go ahead and add the imports because if there's no conflict, there's nothing for me to really resolve. So of course I want you to pull those imports and I don't wanna to have to run through these one by one and add the import statement. So we're gonna go ahead and check that. We're gonna hit apply, we're gonna click okay. So now without actually doing anything, it figure, figure, figure it out, figure it out. In the case of um, Entity, uh, we actually would have had to um, actually import in that particular one that we needed to because there is a um, ambiguous on a there isn't a there is a, there isn't a single one there um, so normally we would have to bring that in but all it did was import the javax.persistence.star package so with all of those pulled in then we're good to go so just another way that you can kind of do this so now if I actually pull this out and if I go ahead and save that and then I come back over and I pull in that code that I did before now there's nothing left to do because it went ahead and pulled in those imports for me so just a little quick tip about not having to deal with those and organizing imports and auto importing um, anything that's missing so I hope that helped if it did hit that thumbs up for me Subscribe to the channel and please let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you want to see out of this. So I hope that helped. Have a good one.